Laughter is one of my favourite things and the more I get to learn about it, the, the more fun it is. <laughs> it's a vital part of who we are and it is really important in regulating the, the health of our body. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I might have heard of the fight or flight response. When you're tired, when you're stressed, when you're under pressure, your body goes through a series of changes. <laughs> but that laughter is actually the off switch to that process. <laughs> After a good laugh, our digestion will improve, um, our immune system will be a marked improvement, things like T-cells, antibodies, huge increase. I was looking for ways of, I guess, a little bit of um, ice breaking within the groups that I was facilitating, and I came across the idea of laughter exercises, and I thought that would be a really good, fun way of loosening things up. What I've learnt over the years is the biggest obstacle that people face is silliness. <laughs> this is a wonderful opportunity to throw all of those restrictions aside. From there it became, I guess, I think the novelty value of laughter yoga. Um, people are curious about it and so it became the most popular thing that I ran um, within my groups. And from there, I think I fell in love with it. <laughs> I discovered laughter yoga back in November 2000. So this is my 14th year of being a laughter yoga practitioner. And I'm passionate about sharing it with other people. <laughs> anyway, Grand set up Perth Laughter Club, which has been running. This is its 14th year. <laughs> um, he initiated the establishment of Laugh WA as an incorporated non-profit organisation to be the umbrella for the Laughter Clubs. I'm a retired librarian. I spent 35 years of my life being a reference and rare books librarian and special collections librarian at Murdoch University. So Harry Potter one's at the lead, and we're throwing our laughter on through. Here we go. <laughs> I was looking for a way to de-stress and quieten down my life, and that's when I hunted around, thinking I'd do I'd do yoga, and I did. I did the the, the course here in. Free, uh, in uh, Subi that's offered through the WA Yoga Centre and I enjoyed it but I learnt two things. One, you had to shut up, you had to be silent and secondly, you really had to be immobile. Silent and immobile was good for meditation and I thought, how come you can't run around and be stupid like I normally want to be and talk a lot? Surely there's got to be a way to de-stress to do that. And I found that there was and it's laughter yoga. My name is Peter Sharp and I've been a refrigeration and air conditioning tradesman for the past 15 years. The biggest thing I get out of laughter yoga is a lift in energy. It feels so good. It feels so strong. It's going to be the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me in my life. My uh, name is Toshi and I'm, I'm doing business development. <laughs> and I've been doing laughter yoga for four years. people. Hold it and let it out with a sigh. <sighs> okay, my name is Kimmy uh, O'Mara and I've been a laughter facilitator for about eight years now. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha. I started with laughter because um, I was given three years to live in 2000 with an autoimmune disease called Crest 
which um, stops you from all the organs inside being able to move or expand. So consequently, I'd suffocate or I would, um, my heart would stop, all of those sort of things. It's now 2014, so I'm 11 years over my use by day. Um, and I would put that down to laughing every day and finding the silver lining in everything so that you're not dwelling and creating I guess hormones and chemicals in your body that are really detrimental to the physiology of the body. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and Nisa! <laughs> Laughter's played a fundamental role in the way we work together and actually grow as a society. But I guess on a real personal level, I suffered from anxiety, I still do, um, and it can become quite, I guess, quite debilitating that anxiety and that unsettled feeling, that stress within the body starts to stop me from wanting to do things. Um, what I've found personally through laughter yoga is that laughter can take that stress away. It can give me that moment of, of peace, um, a little bit of a break from those processes and I can come back feeling clear and feeling better. Um, my health and well-being over the last year and a half of doing laughter yoga has improved out of sight. I actually really enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was my first time ever trying it. Oh, I'm about to deliver a baby in six weeks and I thought what better way than through laughter yoga. It was fun and awkward but fun. It's a different experience, yeah. I mean laughter brings out the inner child. Um, it's just wonderful. Oh yeah, I feel it's quite a lot different now, a bit more flexible, more active, so yeah. It's, it's very infectious and uh, yeah, everyone should do it. Have a go. A laughter club that's had more than 12 to 15 members coming regularly is, is a club that everyone can enjoy and there's no real barrier to people laughing. We're not designed for, for isolation and this is why laughter clubs are so good because it brings people together. They have a great time rediscovering their playfulness, having a good laugh, boosting their health and well-being and that reduces isolation. And this is why it's recommended for people with depression or mental health disorders who are often isolated and gives them a safe place to, you know, rediscover their inner charm. From the very time we're born, we're reliant on each other to survive. We can't sit up, our heads are too big. We're actually born premature, so we're reliant on each other. We're reliant on people to grow. And I think we seem to have forgotten that somewhere along the way. As I said, if we, the more we realise it, the more the world will change for the better. <laughs>